Hello friends and welcome to our channel. Today we will be discussing one of the important questions which always comes into our mind is which certification I should go for cloud. This is the normal scenario which we all face uh, during our uh, cloud journey that whether I should go for AWS, whether I should go for Azure, whether I should go for GCP or other uh, cloud vendors like a private IBM, Alibaba, which one is better or which will give me a better opportunities and the monetary benefits also. So for this, I will be covering up uh, the complete details like I will be putting myself into your shoes and how I decided like I will be going for AWS and then Azure and all these stuff we will be discussing. So please do like uh, this video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will be getting all the notifications for such videos which will be posted up in our channel. So let me first clear your uh, doubt that if you are a AWS trained, then you cannot work on Azure. That is basically a myth which is uh, being into people's mind and uh, in our persona that since I'm working on AWS, I will not be able to move to Azure or GCP. It's nothing like that because all the cloud vendors are basically uh, using the cloud concepts. That is the concept, architectural conceptual things which are at the back end will be same. Uh, if I talk about AWS, AWS has the servers and Azure also called them as a VMs. So that is the basic architecture which will always be there in every cloud vendors. They will have the auto scaling, they will have the load balancers, monitoring, everything will be there. Just the naming conventions and the configurations of those things for particular services will be different. So it's nothing like you are into AWS, you cannot move into Azure, you are into GCP, you cannot go for the AWS things. That is basically a myth and don't follow that. So what I will be doing in this video is I just categorized people uh, based on which I will be explaining you which certification will be helping you as being of experience and your uh, company or organization is going to adopt any one of the cloud vendors then the experienced persons who are looking for a change like a person who is working on java is looking for some change or some new opportunities and the freshers so let's talk about first the experienced person who is working in his organization and currently there will be some uh, the organization is going to adopt the cloud computing technologies and they are looking for Azure as a cloud partner. So since they are moving uh, for the digitalization of their resources and their services, so it will give you a better insight if you go the certification for that particular cloud vendor. I'm saying this because you will be getting a more practical hands-on for that particular cloud vendor and the the organization will be go, uh, growing up and they will be looking for the associates who will be uh, working from their scratch and then doing all the migrations and there will be a lot of exposure which will be coming uh, for you. So for this category of people who are uh, looking for some cloud certifications, they should be going for the vendors which their organization is going to adapt. Right. So the next point it will be for the experienced person who are looking for a change and they want to change their technologies. They are into Oracle or DBA and they want to be into the cloud uh, sections. So for these, uh, like there are uh, multiple vendors which uh, this been listed and it's a quarter two result for 2020. And here you can see that Amazon, Azure, Google Clouds, the market share they have. So Amazon is leading all the way for in the market share and Azure and Google Cloud GCP is a uh, little far behind that. And Alibaba uh, will all rank on fourth. Alibaba was listed before GCP, but GCP overtook that Alibaba's market share and GCP is also coming as a major uh, player in the cloud uh, vendors. So that is basically since we are seeing that Amazon is the leading partner, so it doesn't mean that you should be going for Amazon. 
even if you search for the maximum number of jobs which are listed on uh, our portals that will be for amazon for sure but the number of certified people on amazon aws will be more and they are more matured enough and they will be uh, asking you some tricky questions or the more pr practical hands-on sort of things in your interview so as per my recommendation what i will be doing like if i will be moving early uh, now to a cloud vendors i will be preferring more of a google cloud then Azure because Google Cloud is still it's he uh, the vendor is doing uh, started as his journey not much of the associates are uh, certified they are uh, the company is adopting it they are not major players or it's not there so Google Cloud will be a better option and then the Azure apart from the AWS I know AWS is the market share, they have their lot of services, but all those services which are there in AWS, Azure and GCP is also building up their services as per what Amazon is giving. Just the configuration, the architecture, the concepts will be the same for all of these vendors. So suppose let's take an example like you are into a, a Oracle DB and you are moving uh, from an organization to another, and there are a person who is uh, who was working for oracle is there who is taking your interview then he will be asking you a deep down questions on that a tricky ones then the option for you to crack that interview gets minimal so, however if you go for the other technologies which is quite new and people are just exploring that there you can justify that these trainings will uh, help you to crack that interview so hope that point gets cleared and also i will recommend people uh, because of uh, covid who lost their jobs and are looking for the cloud operators they should also be going for the google cloud because it's quite new and it's in demand also it's nothing like you will not be getting a more options for google cloud but companies uh, organizations are adapting google cloud because of the machine learning and the ai technologies which they are using and the services they are providing as a platform as a service that is leading google into the major market players that's why they have beaten up alibaba ibm and they are fighting with the major players so GCP is nowhere. You can say that the, uh, it's at the third position. I should not go. That will be the best option for you to go for the Google Cloud. The next uh, thing which I have categorized is the freshers who are looking for uh, the some cloud certification. So for them, it's an open place. They should be taking up uh, any of the certifications, whether it's a AWS, Azure, GCP. It is not being categorized it's just like their wish and their interest in that particular service like aws has matured a lot and there are a lot of materials which will be available for their learning so they can go for the uh, aws and once after completing their graduation they can assess themselves uh, what position they are holding in the market what exactly the technologies which they will be looking and then they can switch on from aws to azure or google cloud that uh, basically is not an issue and for a fresher the organization will not be looking that much of in-depth knowledge they will be looking up for the conceptual knowledge like uh, the fresher should be able to understand what exactly the terms and terminologies which will be going so they should be going up for that basic certifications of any of the three cloud vendors since there are many of the cloud vendors i'm uh, sticking it into aws azure and gcp only because they hold the maximum market share and we all at some time wants to be holding any of these certifications right so let me uh, provide you how my journey for the cloud started so i started with the aws where my uh, i was into uh, the different technology and my organization was going to adapt aws as a cloud vendor so i started working over there and uh, developed my competency on aws and then i started switching with the aws because that was uh, 
not a, a mature product during that do, uh, those days so i just switched down and then the organization uh, moving towards azure also gives me experience on azure right now what i have started is the aws tips and tricks on this videos and some of the conceptual videos which will be having some real time examples so that we have started for aws but later on they will be working on the azure and google cloud also so hope you have liked this video please do comment and let us know if there is anything which you want us to include our in our videos or any of the recommendations or any any things please do comment and please share these videos with your friends and family so that they will also be getting aware of all these stuffs thanks for watching bye bye